Thank you so much for staying with us. This is One on One. My name is Lillian Muli Kalene, and I'll just be sharing with you about the beautiful set we have tonight, courtesy of a gentleman that I'm sure you would all love to know. This set has been transformed into a nightclub. It is beautiful. It looks amazing. But away from that, tonight, I'm very proud to be hosting a lady who is no stranger to you. She's a household name in Kenya and indeed across borders. The lovely, the very beautiful, the super talented Susanna Owio is our guest artist on One on One tonight. And let me not talk too much about Susanna because we're, go we're gonna get into it with her shortly after her performance. I'm sure this is a lady a lot of you admire, a lot of you respect. Twitter is blowing up. Our hashtag is one on one. Over to you, Susanna. I do meli tera wina, aye aye tera dia banki sumo, aye aye tera dia banki sumo, kisumo ber kisumo, e tera dia banki sumo, kisumo ber kisumo, e tera dia banki sumo, aye aye tera dia ne pa jo, aye aye tera dia ne pa jo. Ay, 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 Anna Duaro Kenda, Honginga Matera, Bini Dong, Bini Dong Jadala, Bini Dong, Bini Dong Jatelo, Bini Dong, Bini Dong Osiepna, Bini Dong, Bini Dong Jaturwa, Bini Dong, Bini Dong Jadala, Bini Dong. Omena Mit, Etera the Aniki Sumo, Bota Mit, Kibuye, Etera the Aniki Sumo, Gaga Mit, Manyatayawa, Etera the Aniki Sumo. O bambo mit nyawita etera dia neki sumo bini dong bini dong jadala bini dong bini dong jatelo bini dong bini dong osiepna bini dong aya e etera dia neki sumo aya e etera dia neki sumo dalagi mama yo dalagi baba yo jolo jo malongo Dungu gero kisumo ya ye Bini dong, bini dong jadala Bini dong, bini dong jatelo Bini dong, bini dong osiepna Bini dong Ya watera dia ne kisumo Etera dia ne kisumo Ya watera dia ne kisumo And that is the very, very talented Susanna Owio. Susanna, kindly join me here on my okay. couch <laughs> as we get to know a little bit more about this songstress yeah. that actually brought Kisumu to Nairobi, to central Kenya, everywhere. You know, Susanna Kisumu 100, um, yes. just the fact that, you know, this was being celebrated by Kikuyus, by Kambas, by Kalenjins, by, and the fact that they could not understand what she was saying, but still, um, it managed to just cut across tribes, all the tribes of Kenya, and everybody was dancing along to it. Were you surprised at the success of that particular song? Um, uh, truly, I wasn't expecting that, and uh, when I when I was composing this song, I didn't think it would reach. Uh, out to a big audience, you know, beyond my tribe, beyond, beyond my country. Yeah. But uh, the song has proven, uh, pr uh, proved that um, mm -hmm. indeed, um, music can be powerful language right. that we all speak in common. Mm -hmm. You know, I s like a singing luo, and uh, looking at the audience who 
don't understand the language, but they still love the music. Yeah. I think it's something I hold dearly to my heart, just seeing people enjoying my, my sound, my music. Mm. It, it's, it's, it's something I can't explain, but I didn't expect it, darling. Amazing, <laughs> amazing. And Wamiel, yes. um, your new hit single. Um, tell us what Wamiel means before we take a little bit of a of a sneak preview into the video. Um, you you released this single uh, late last year, I believe. Tell us a little bit about Wamiel. Well, do you love dancing? I love dancing. So it's basically mean um, let's dance, yeah. let lose, let's dance. Okay. Do you go to club? <laughs> too much too information. <laughs> no, too I just want to find out. But I do, yeah. I mean, yeah. who doesn't? Once so, in a while, girls' um, night out. Uh, yeah. I, I, I think, okay, the song is simple, and um, basically I'm just letting fans out there to just let loose and dance. Mm. Don't, nobody is watching when you get to the flow. Yeah, Please lose a nap, you know. Nobody is watching. It has no formula. Yeah. Just do your thing. Okay. Yeah. And let's take a look at Wamiel Susanna. Let's see um, this amazing new video. Amazing, and we'll be getting down to Amiel later on in the show. It looks like a club banger. That's yes. going to be one of those <laughs> club bangers that make everybody stand up in the club. Let's start with you, um, your story, Susanna. Where did this musical journey begin? When was this talent discovered for you? Well, uh, it, it's a long story, yeah. but um, um, I remember growing up um, listening to music. Uh, I was active in school, in primary school. A secondary school music club you know things like that and also in church mm -hmm. and um, actually little did I know that uh, I would be a musician at some point until very late um, that was uh, after I completed my secondary school and I remember there was a lady uh, I read about a lady called Salio Yugi uh, who was uh, uh, doing Afro jazz uh, in Nairobi that was like 19 hmm, that was 1980 some around 1989 mm. And so I read her story, I approached her, and my, my, I just wanted to learn, you know. Uh, I believed that I can sing. So I called her and uh, I, I, wa I wanted her to give me opportunity just to let me sing with her, to be her backup singer. And um, after going through the auditions, she told me, well, I think we can work together. And so this didn't take long. Um, uh, we worked together for like a year and then she had to leave for the United States and then I was left alone but what I remember sh um, her telling me was you you have a potential don't let don't stop I mean you can do it even better than me and after she left I I joined several like I worked with various band in town um, if that's you in Kisumu no in Nairobi okay yeah and as a dancer Mm -hmm. First, as a dancer, Dombolea Solo, I used to really dance, you know, really? I can dance, yeah. Wow. Yes, as a dancer, uh, then I graduated to singing, you know. And this went on for some time until mm -hmm. uh, an opportunity came when Kisumu uh, was celebrating his 100 years uh, centenary. And that's when I got the opportunity to perform in front of that crowd. And I had a song, you know, um, I remember the... Uh, the committee uh, for the Kisumu Centenary were looking for, uh, was looking for a theme song. And so it's something, having lived in Kisumu, of course, I, I sat down and I, I came up with a, a song. I composed like a, song, a song for Kisumu. Mm -hmm. And um, they said, this is what we are looking at. And they gave me the wow. opportunity to sing on that day. Mm -hmm. And uh, since that day, mm, I mean, the rest is history. And the rest is history, and yes. I want to catapult because Susanna is not is not a rare name to you guys. I mean, everywhere we read about you, you're doing big things. Mm -hmm. You've rubbed shoulders with big international stars, very prominent names: Kofi Olomide, uh, Yusuf. Is it Dio or Dio? I don't know. I always <laughs> feel like I'm do. shrubbing. Yusuf Dio, yes. Yeah, um, you know, um, a lot of big names. You've performed alongside them, Oliver Mtukudzi. Um, what do these artists think about your sound because yours can be defined as being unique in the sense that number one you're singing in your mother tongue mm -hmm. um, and you know you have a beat of course that's also unique to you what do they think about your style I think the secret here is just being unique 
um, I always tell musicians, don't struggle hard to try to be somebody else. You need to, to work hard and perfect you, mm -hmm. you know, the you that you have. And um, to me, this has worked better because um, it makes me stand out. I mean, I'm Susanna. Yeah. That will never change. Yeah. It's like you, um, uh, we have various musicians out there. They have their signature tune, you know. Once you hear that voice, you can uh, quickly identify with it. And uh, that's what I'm saying. The secret is in just believing yourself, just being you. I mean, mm -hmm. how unique do you want your audience to, to, to take you, you know? Yes. But I suppose for an artist that's watching and maybe even an, a professional who has revolved around this local scene for so long and wants to see themselves on that international platform, the question they're asking is, how do you gain that exposure? How do you even get invited to events where you're able to perform alongside such big acts? Um, a part of it, I think also, it's... Uh, one of it is being unique because you do something different, not ed everybody's doing. Yeah. And then some, some of these things also lack. I would also mention lack um, because uh, even for me, at times I get surprised to, uh, when I get called to some of these big international events. Mm -hmm. But I think what also sells it more is, um, um, I mean, what you've done. For example, the appearances, the more appearances that you make, uh, the more appearances you, you make uh, mm -hmm. in those events, they also add up to something. They right. see there's, there's a value, there's something in you that, that uh, they want to see mm -hmm. they, they, or they want to keep on singing. So, uh, st keep on seeing, sorry. So it's, it's also upon you, you just don't stop. You just can't stop and be comfortable. You yeah. say, okay, I've done that, I've been... I mean, um, every day sense. is, you just have to practice, 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 you yeah. know? You just have to up your game. Yeah. And I want to talk about the confidence that it takes, Susanna. Um, I mean, I recall a time when you were performing at the Nelson Mandela concert in Hyde Park um, in London um, in honor of his 90th birthday. And there's also been, you've also been photographed with Oprah. You've rubbed shoulders with Obama. You find yourself in these situations where, let's talk about the Mandela concert. You're performing in front of this <laughs> iconic world figure. This is Mandela. And I'm thinking if it was me, I'd be like, Oh my goodness, where do I start? That moment for you, take us back to that moment, just being in front of this person that, that, that is highly revered, that is highly respected. What was that moment like for you? Trust me, um, you know, I, I was really surprised. And uh, when I, I, I got to learn that I was going to perform at Nelson Mandela concert, I, I couldn't believe, you know, like, I even got goosebumps, you know, I'm like, yeah. really, is it me? And, you know, I was so nervous, of course. Number one, I was like, okay, uh, which song do I sing now, mm -hmm. and how how are they how are they going to take it? They don't understand Lou, so how I go, how are they going to take it? But I said, I think at the end of the day, let me just do my thing, I, you know. And um, when I went on that stage and and and, and did my song with uh, I remember Soweto Gospel Choir because we had like a day um, for rehearsals. And I went there and everybody was cheering and I said, wow, you know, that's the power of music. Mm -hmm. It tells you how mu powerful music can be. Mm -hmm. And so it also made me look at music differently, you know. Um, really, uh, f for me to share uh, a stage or a platform with the big names, I looked at myself and say, it's not only music. I think there's more to it than music. One is the message. What is the message that I have in my music? What message am I relaying to? to people. And so, um, trust me, Lillian, um, that really changed me a lot. And um, I looked back at myself. And from those events, uh, I, um, I've been back on also trying to give back to society in, in my way, mm -hmm. in my own small way. Okay. Yeah. And you're a Goodwill Ambassador for UNEP. How did that come about? And what projects have you been involved in surrounding uh, this Goodwill Ambassadorship? Um, there's one major event, there was one major project that I, I initiated called Soko Bila West. Um, that was um, sometime in 2013. Basically, it was, it's a, an initiative on food waste reduction. Um, the, the food that we eat, uh, yet we, um, I was more concerned in the wastage, you know, because a lot of us, you, you, you even waste food at home without yeah. knowing you're wasting. Mm. In markets, you know, they say food, hap uh, food waste happen in various food chains, you know. So my focus um, 
for my first activity, I did um, um, an event at Marikiti Market. Basically, I wanted to find out if there's wastage um, in, in, the, in the market because they say a lot of wastage happens at retail level. Mm -hmm. And indeed, we found out there's, there was a lot of organic, you know, wastage. So um, that was just phase one of the project and um, various faces are lined up and um yeah I'm, mm -hmm. I'm 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 keeping on with that okay yes and and just looking back um to <laughs> to something that i was also involved in though i got so thipped by pinky oh. Milani. <laughs> Boxing? um susanna <laughs> mobilized prominent women in kenya to participate in a mock let me let me say mock okay it was a mock boxing tournament yeah. fundraiser and this was his, was in honor or rather to support our congestina yes. a chiang um who at the time was hospitalized and, and you know you were trying to just raise funds for her and just going forward of course for her upkeep mm -hmm. um your heart for women and i know you've been involved you know in projects to support the girl child mm -hmm. your heart for women susanna where does that come from and, and what is your what is your, your your vision for the women of this country for the girls of this nation i think uh, even for me to have initiated uh, the mock boxing i i looked at congestina's story and i said um, this, I mean, she's done us proud, you know, yeah. and uh, in my son, small way, I couldn't just let it go like that. And I always believe that as women, in whichever position that we are, and I always say women in leadership should really try and support our fellow women in, you know, we empower our fellow women. So to me, that was, I did it in my small way because I, uh, at least it, somehow it, uh, it helped, you know, and um, similar to um, what I'm doing when it comes to the girl child. You know, I've been involved in, in various projects with Plan International um, uh, to support education for girls. Um, we know young girls face quite a number of challenges when it comes to early marriage, the FGM, those ones, there's been, they've been talked about more and more. Mm -hmm. And so I also take part in that in, to, to try and see um, in terms of advocating for for, for the rights of the girl. Okay. Yeah. So, Susanna, how do you remain forever elegant, forever beautiful, forever wow. focused? <laughs> I, because we know the industry is currently saturated. Everybody wants to be a star. Everybody is dropping a video. Everybody is out there calling themselves a celebrity. Um, but how do you remain grounded in an industry that is so demanding, that can make you lose track along the way when you make a little bit of money, when you get a couple of, of endorsements here and there? How have you remained solid throughout this journey? I think it's, um, I would say part of it is determination, hard work, you humble yourself. I know uh, uh, the market, I would say the, the music industry, as you said, is saturated and we have young musicians coming in day in day out you know but uh, um, I always say I thank God for keeping me this, this far having brought me this far mm. and um, um, just like it's just about believing in yourself I would say and 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 working hard yeah and and practice and Makadem was in studio the other yes. day and he told us yeah. you can play the Nyatiti. Yes. And not a lot of <laughs> women can do that because it's super heavy. I Lilian, think. at times, you know, like, you have to challenge yourself. You can't be comfortable. From singing, I said mm -hmm. I needed to pick a guitar. Yeah. I wanted to go to another level. And I said, wow, the Nyatiti, why don't I try it? As much as it was a taboo for mm, a it woman. It is a taboo? It is. It, well, it was. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> A taboo for a woman to play in a titi but the moment I saw a Japanese woman play it on our national TV mm. I said wow she came all the way to Japan I mean from Japan, from Japan to yeah. Kenya mm. and played so well learned our culture and I said I'm a f I'm a woman just like her what's stopping me from from doing that yeah you know mm. so I picked it up and it's amazing and whenever I, I, I play it especially in the international platform you know it's unique and they say I remember meeting one of West African mus uh, musicians who wanted to, to, to have it. You know, mm -hmm. they wanted me to sell it for them. Yeah. Because they believed that uh, they had never seen, you know, like various countries, they have various traditional instruments. And to them, Nyatiti was quite new. They even asked, where is this from, from Kenya? Mm -hmm. They thought they had seen it all. Yes. You know? Yeah. So that uniqueness also sells. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Okay. And yeah. Susanna, I want um, I want you to, to share with us on some of the challenges you faced along the way. Um, of course, um, you, you picked up the Nyatiti, which is a taboo. But has there been a moment for you when you felt like perhaps this is not the industry for you, that perhaps you should just do something totally different? Or has it just been a smooth ride all the way? Um, uh, I remember from the beginning when I was starting my career, um, it wasn't quite easy because I met a lot of rejection, you know, being ac accepted in a society that really didn't believe in, 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 in the music, in music, and especially for a lady, mm. you know, you get called all sorts of names, but you know, if you're not strong, if I wasn't strong, I wouldn't be where I am today. And I think I stood my ground and, and, and uh, to date, um, the story is different, you know, and I'm very sure that there are fellow young female musicians who undergo such uh, challenges, you know, mm -hmm. um, and um, I've met some who share stories, I, I mean they share their stories with me and I, I, I always keep encouraging them that fine, I understand, but it's not the end of the world, you just need to, I mean, if, it's, if you have a passion for something, you don't, I mean, just do it, okay. you know. Yeah. And, and, and now to, to that question that a lot of people, I don't like this question myself, Which one? you know, your, your personal, <laughs> oh this, my. Is, this is your, are you, are you I a mommy? I saw it coming. Yeah, are you a mommy, yeah. are you a wife, away from all this glamour and all this showbiz? Who is Susanna at home? Um, I'm a mommy, I'm a wife, I'm what, I'm a musician, yeah. I'm a what, what else? <laughs> <laughs> what do you like to do from, uh, for fun when, when you're not all dolled up and looking glamorous? Because they say that celebrities can't have a bad hair day. They say that, and I've never seen you looking dressed down, Susanna. My I dear, don't even know you. need you to come home <laughs> or just meet me somewhere in the market. You'll, uh, you'll get a shock of your life. Really? I just love to be me, simple. I mean, it's only today I was trying to match you. I said, oh my, I'm going to Lillian Mooley's show. Oh my how do I look or how do I have to this look? You coming know? from you? <laughs> you know? Wow. Anyway. Um, we've got a couple of messages and tweets as well. I'm very proud of Susanna. Yes. She's a role model. I was the first journalist to publish her story in the Sunday Nation when it, it, it emerged. Um, she doesn't say who she is. Um, somebody here is saying, um, I want to know if Susanna is married. She's a beautiful lady. Sure. Sorry. <laughs> She's taken. Um, somebody saying, Lillian, Susanna is a very hardworking lady. I really like her work. Keep it up, Susanna. Someone is saying, Wamiel is awesome. I love it. I can't wait for you to perform it for us. And of course, Susanna, I've always loved your music, though. I don't understand the, lang the language, but I love your beat. That's what somebody here is saying. Susanna, before we close, any parting words from you to your fans, to, to people that are watching, um, your parting shots as we close? Well, mine is simple. Um, don't try hard to be somebody else, yet it take less effort to be you. Awesome. Well said. Yeah, yeah, stop trying to be Susanna. Just be yourself. <laughs> there's only one Susanna. Yes. I dare to say there's only one me. Yeah. <laughs> but it's true. It yes. is true. It yes. is. It is absolutely true. Yeah. Well said. And let's take a look at the tweets. Let's take the tweets before we close. Okay, there we go. Uh, Susanna's music is unique and very inspiring. Thank you for that. Susanna is the heart of African music worldwide. Susanna, you are such an inspiring lady. I really love your songs. And Susanna Owio, she is a humble soul despite her worldwide fame. Hashtag one on one. She is humble, beautiful, super talented. Susanna, you are talented, kindly mentor upcoming artists, so they also reach your standards. And finally, Susanna Owio makes me proud to be Kenyan, great Kenyan artist. And now to Wamiel, Susanna, we can't wait to hear it. We are super excited. And of course, this set is courtesy of Rick Concerts. Look him up on Facebook. All this that you see, this beautiful disco lights, the bubbles, the what have you, this is courtesy of Rick's Concerts. So look him up. That's him right there. And now over to Susanna. Thank you so much, my dear. It's thank been you, lovely. Lillian, for having we me. admire you. We celebrate you. Thank, and you. thank you so much for coming to One on One. Thank you. Okay. Asante. There you go. Oops. Where is the microphone? Tumpoko chako, erenga makonya miel. Kikilwor, kikilwor, fomula unge. Don't 
Mi la mi la cachendi, fomi la unge. Ango mamo. 